Hi, I am Tushar Matu from Synopsys. Are you guys using UVM Reg to model your register layer in your test bench? If so, in this video I am going to tell you how to integrate UVM Reg with AXI VIP. So here is how the test bench would look like when the AXI VIP is integrated there and you have a register model ready to be integrated with that AXI VIP but the connection still has to be made and that's where I am going to talk about how to create that adapter layer how to connect that adapter layer from register model to the AXI VIP master so that all the registered commands set by the user in the register sequences gets converted into the protocol AXI protocol transactions and from AXI protocol transactions back to the register commands. This adapter layer which I just showed in previous picture is available as a file to the users through the Solnet which you can access using this article number and once you have once you got access to that file you can include that register axi adapter file into your test bench and create an instance of that adapter in your test bench environment then you need to set a sequencer for the register model so that all the register commands executed or defined by the user in the register sequence gets converted into the protocol specific transactions using that specific master instance sequencer which you have set the connection over here. VIP also requires user to pass the right configuration handle within the transaction so that whenever a transaction is randomized it keeps all the transaction fields within that configuration bound which are which, which are basically the characteristics of the DOT and the adapter layer also expects that configuration master configuration to be passed to it and in this step shows how you need to do that through the object dot configuration member you assign with the specific master configuration handle. For more information please go to www.synopsis.com slash VIP.